I think that can happen. I think the Congresswoman is eloquent in uh, calling uh, for a commitment to rebuilding Haiti uh, that will be tied very tightly to democratic change. Um, I can think of a couple of concrete steps. Uh, one is um, that uh, the United States make a commitment to open uh, its market uh, to Haitian products, both agricultural and manufactured, um, to uh, uh, build on the trade agreement that was concluded a couple of years ago that's very promising but could be made uh, permanent and give Haiti more uh, permanent and freer access to American, uh, uh, American markets. Secondly, an insistence that the vast amount of money that's going to be needed for rebuilding should be going to Haitians, not only Haitian contractors, uh, but Haitian workers who should get a minimum uh, wage, a decent wage for the work they do so you can begin to build up some capital in the hands of ordinary people. Um, you know, I should say also that the congressman, Congresswoman's example of the rice crop is a very good one. Uh, the United States over many years, uh, in the form of foreign aid, shipped a great deal of, of surplus wheat from American farms uh, to Haiti. In so doing, it not only destroyed the domestic or uh, harmed very seriously the domestic rice crop, uh, it also supplied this great opportunity for plunder on the part of the Duvaliers uh, and their cronies. The wheat was sent to be uh, milled in Haiti, and uh, the huge flour mill essentially was a great source of corruption uh, for the regime and for the elite. And in this way, uh, very often foreign aid uh, is used by those in power uh, as a source of great uh, corruption. So I think we have to be very careful uh, that foreign aid is not, uh, doesn't go into the wrong hands, first of all. And secondly, that it builds permanent jobs, permanent infrastructure, that uh, it isn't simply permanent uh, charity, which it too often has been uh, in the past. We're going to see in the next uh, few years, inevitably, uh, huge amounts of money flowing into Haiti. And uh, if things go as they have in the past, this will go uh, in very large part toward corruption and into the hands of those who, who need it least. And mm -hmm. a real effort has to be made uh, to keep that from happening.